Your Holiness, uh, when you went to uh, America to uh, the Congress, I believe they gave you an American flag. I know that you already have a, uni a Union Jack, uh, so I want to give you a book on the story of Parliament and this cushion. Thank you very much. Thank you. I think uh, please, according to our tradition, we conclude our uh, formal functions with a silent prayer. So I will offer silent prayer. Everyone can offer their prayer in their own way. Silent prayer. Amen. His message of peace, of reconciliation, of love, um, of commitment to community, of respect for the elderly, care for the young, is an incredibly powerful message at all times, but I think is particularly resonant at a time when there uh, are uh, heightened fears in some communities that communities will be set one, and one against uh, each other. And so I'm uh, hugely uh, privileged to be able to welcome him here to the Palace of, Palace of Westminster and strongly uh, support and join in with him in, in seeking to promote a message of peace. Well, I think in any society where there are incidences of violence, of extremism, of prejudice, of hatred, a, a message of, 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 of love, um, a message of, of peace, um, and a message not just of words but of action, also showing what those values mean in practice, doing good works, uh, making uh, commitments to our community both here and in other parts of the world. Uh, His Excellency was telling me about the exceptional work of the Ahmadiyya community of creating model villages in, in Ghana, for instance, where he himself worked uh, many years ago, I think is a, is a very powerful antidote to, uh, to the forces of hatred, division and violence. Well, the message from the Khalifa and from the community, uh, love for all, hatred for none, is a message I hope that uh, communities around the world, countries around the world, leaders around the world could uh, actually follow. Um, and you're right, in my uh, meeting with him, we were talking actually also about the situation in Syria and the real worry there where we're seeing uh, huge bloodshed and huge instability and the need for us to, uh, as leaders, do whatever we can to bring peace. And he, in his uh, in critical role, uh, is a real strong voice in the world for peace. Well, I think that the community has contributed a very great deal to the wider life of community here in the United Kingdom uh, and in so many different ways, not just individuals um, going about their daily lives and about their, uh, their business, their contribution to uh, the economy of the, of the United Kingdom, but also the contribution to society and particularly the work that is done with charities, the work that is done to raise funds for uh, local charities and the work that's done reaching out in local communities. I was struck by the remarks he made about the uh, importance of peace in the community and the importance of being part of the wider community and the work that is done within the wider community and a very clear message I think for all of us uh, as to the part that we should be playing. Well I've seen it in my own constituency where the Amity community are very welcome residents and I think what they've really done is helped a lot of us to know people of Islam in a very personal way and I think we've seen the, the values of peace uh, which frankly are not always the images you get across the media and we've seen those from the Amity people that we've all met in our own constituencies and I really would commend the community for their close engagement with politicians of all parties um, and for what they've done to spread a, a very different message about Islam which I think has been very inspirational. I just think they're extremely friendly and they take great effort to develop good personal relationships um, and I think that's really impressed everyone they've come across. The community has done more than most in ensuring that they are part of our country.